let's talk about another space that people have some concern about, which is autonomous driving, is sort of security concerns. Um, that's another real world system. So do you have, should people be worried about adversarial machine learning attacks in the context of autonomous vehicles that use like Tesla Autopilot, for example, that uses vision as a primary sensor for perceiving the world and navigating in that world. What do you think? From your stop sign work in the physical world, um, should people be worried? How hard is that attack? So actually there has already been, like there uh, there have always been um, like research shown that's, for example, actually even with Tesla, like if you put, a few stickers on the road, it can actually, when it's arranged in certain ways, it can fool the... <laughs> That's right, but I, I don't think <laughs> it's actually been, I, I'm not, I might not be familiar, but I don't think it's been done on physical worlds, uh, physical roads yet. Meaning I think it's with a projector in front of the Tesla. So it's a it's a physical, so you're on the other side of the, side of the sensor, but you're not in still the physical world. The, the question is whether it's possible to orchestrate attacks that work in the actual, phys like end-to-end -end attacks, like not just a demonstration of the concept, but thinking, is it possible on the highway to control Tesla? I that think, kind of idea. I, I think there are two separate questions. One is the feasibility of the attack, and yes. I'm hundred percent confident that the, the attack possible. is possible. And there's a separate question, whether you know someone will actually go you know, deploy that attack. I I hope people do not do that. Yeah, but uh, hold on a second. But that's a, two separate questions. So the question on the word feasibility. Mm -hmm. the, so to clarify, feasibility means it's possible. It doesn't say how hard it is because uh, in the, to implement it. So mm -hmm. sort of the the barrier, like how how much of a heist it has to be, like how many people have to be involved what is the probability of success, that kind of stuff, and couple with how many evil people there are in the world that would attempt such an attack, right? That, But the two, my, my question is, is it sort of, um, have, you know, uh, when I talk to Elon Musk and ask the same question, he says it's not a problem. It's very difficult to do in the real world. That, you know, this won't be a problem. He dismissed it as a problem for adversarial attacks on the Tesla. Of course, he happens to be involved with the company, so he has to say that. But I mean, let me linger it on a little longer. Do you? So you, how, where does your confidence that it's feasible come from, and what's your intuition? How people should be worried, and how we might be, how people should defend against it. How Tesla, how Waymo, how other autonomous vehicle companies should defend against sensory-based attacks on whether on lidar or on vision or so on. And also, even for LiDAR, actually, there has been research shown yes. that even LiDAR itself can no, be, no, no, no. But see, it's, 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 it's really important to pause. There's really nice demonstrations <laughs> that it's possible to do, but there's so many pieces that it's kind of like um, it's in it's kind of in the lab. Now, it's in the physical world, meaning it's in the physical space. The attacks, but it's very like you have to control a lot of things to pull it off. Uh, it's like the difference between opening a safe when you have it mm -hmm. and you have unlimited time and you can work on it versus like sure, breaking sure, into sure, sure, like sure. the right. crown, stealing the crown jewels or whatever, right. right? I mean, so one way to look at it is in terms of how real these attacks can be, uh, one way to look at it is that actually you don't even need any sophisticated attacks. Already we've seen, you know, many real world examples, incidents, we're showing that the the vehicle was making the wrong decision. The wrong decision without attacks, right? Right, so, right. So, so that's the... one way to demonstrate. And this is also like so far we've mainly talked about work in this adversary setting, um, showing that today's learning system they are so vulnerable to the adversarial setting. But at the same time, actually, we also know that even in natural settings, these learning systems, they don't generalize well, and hence they can really misbehave under certain uh, situations, yes, absolutely. like what we have seen. And hence, I think using that as an example, <laughs> it can show that these uh, issues can be real. They, they, can, they can be real. But so there's two cases. <laughs> One is something, it's like perturbations can make the system misbehave. <laughs> versus make the system do one specific thing that the attacker wants, as you said, the targeted, uh, targeted attack. Targeted attack, right. That seems, even, that seems to be very difficult. 
uh, like a, a extra level of difficult step in the in the real world. But from the perspective of the passenger of the car, you know, <laughs> I don't think it matters either way. <laughs> right, right, uh, right. Whether right. it's yeah, it's misbehavior or a targeted attack. Okay. And also, and that's why I was also saying earlier, like one defense is this multi-model. Uh, defense and more of these consistent checks and so on. So in the future, I think also it's important that for these autonomous uh, vehicles, they right they have lots of different sensors and they should be combining all these uh, sensory readings to arrive at the decision uh, and the interpretation of the world and so on. And the more of these sensory inputs they use and the better they combine these sensory inputs, the harder it is going to um, be attacked. And hence, I think that is a very important direction for us to move uh, towards. So multimodal, multi-sensor across multiple cameras, but also in the case of right. car, radar, ultrasonic, right. sound right. even. So all of those. Uh, right, 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 exactly. 